Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to set up multi locale in Bugisto. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be checking how to add language selection option at the storefront, and selecting a language will change the locale of the storefront to the selected language. But for the product name and the details, we can add the translation from the product edit page in the admin backend panel. And after that, when you select the respective locale at the storefront, complete page with its product details will be changed to the respective locale that you have selected as a customer at the storefront. So in today's video tutorial, we'll see how to add locales, how to enable locales for the respective channels of your store, how to add the translation for a product, and how the translation appears on the product page after you have changed the translation for the products as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now here you can see that I'm on the storefront and if I go to the home page here, or be it a product page on the top left hand corner you can see that I have a drop down here to select the locale of the or the language of the store there. So from here we can choose the language of our store itself so for example it's English right now I can choose it as Turkish and you can see there's a change uh, the complete uh, store has changed into the Turkish language there and if I go to the product page or product here you can see it's in the Turkish language itself with the description being in the dis uh, in the Turkish language as well. Now if I open the product page, here you can see the name of the product is in Turkish language. Uh, the rest of the in stock is in uh, Turkish language. The add to cart button is in Turkish language. The short description, the long description is in the Turkish language there itself. Now if I change it to English, the complete store would be changed into the English language as you can see. Again it has been changed into the English language. So this is how the multi local thing works in the Bugisto there. Now, how to set up the multi local in Bugisto for that, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to set, set up or we need to add the locales in the admin backend panel. And then we need to enable the locales for the different channels. After the enabling the local for the channel, the particular local would be available for the channel on the front end, as you can see right now on the top left hand corner for selection by the customers there. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the admin backend panel of the Bugisto and I'll be logging into the backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button. Now what we need to do is we need to add the locales initially for that we'll go to the settings option and here we'll go to the locales. Here you'll find the complete list of locales that you've already added with the language code, language name the direction of the language whether it's in LTR left to right or an RTL or uh, right to left language and here you have the option to edit or delete any of the locales that you have added. To add a particular locale you will have to tap here on the add local button on the top right hand corner and here enter the language code like for example if you are going with uh, let's say we are adding um, Arabic language so we will set it as the code as AR the language name is Arabic, the direction as right to left. If you have a logo for the locale, you can upload that as well. And then tap here on the save locale to save the particular locale itself. And the locale would be saved as you can see here within this particular listing itself. Now this was how we can in a, uh, how we can add a particular locale in the admin backend panel. Now let's see how to enable the locales for the channels of your store. For that, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just tap here on the, I'll hover my mouse over the settings icon and here I'll go to the channels option. For the respective channel, what I'll do is I'll tap on the edit option on the right hand side. That would bring up these particular sections like general, current season, locale, design, homepage, maintenance. So we'll go to the current season locales and here under the locales you will find the complete list of locales that you have already created under the locales section. So here you can see that the Arabic is also visible right now. So the ones that you select here would be visible to the customers for selection at the storefront under this particular section here. So for example, I've chosen the Arabic as well. Let's tap here on the save channel. 
and I if I refresh this particular page from the drop down you can see we have the Arabic, Dutch, English, Espanol, French and Turkish languages for the selection by the customers there and from here they can change the location of the store as per their own language as required there. Now let's see how the admin would be able to this was how to enable the locales for the channels and how to enable the locales for the storefront there right now let's see how the admin uh, would be able to add the translation for a particular product for that you need to navigate to products and for example we have a simple product here I'll go to the simple product and I'll edit it up after editing the product what I'll do is I'll just choose the local from here so here you can see that we have the Arabic, Dutch, English, Espanol, French and Turkish for example I want to uh, change the translation for I, I want to set the translation for Turkish language for this particular product so I'll choose Turkish the page would uh, refresh then what I need to do is I need to give the name in the Turkish language here you can see that I'll give it as Basit Urun Basit Urun as the URL key I've set the description as Basit Urun, Basit Urun, the description as Basit Urun as well. Now after you have set this up, you can similarly set up the meta description, meta keywords, meta description for the product uh, and the rest of the things as well. And after you have set these things up like the name, URL, uh, the description, short description, you can save the product. Then what this would do is, for example, right now if I go to the storefront on the product page, let the product uh, let this particular section save itself up first so here you can see that everything is in the english language the name of the product the description the short description now if i choose my local as turkish everything would be converted into the uh, what we say as the turkish language so here for the product we have changed the product name product description product short description the same has been changed here as well so that was how we uh, will be able to add the language selection option at the storefront and selecting a language will change the locale of the storefront to the selected language but for the product name and the details we can add the translation from the product and the page in the admin backend panel and after that when you select the respective locale at the storefront complete page uh, with the product details will be changed to the respective locale as selected by the customer at the storefront there so if i choose it as english it would completely be uh, changed into english as you can see right now so yes that was much about how to set up the multiple locales in bangisto and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bangisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bangisto.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.